Now, let's talk health, and on health today we have Dr. Dino Onifade, the Chief Medical Officer at Dr. Connect, a health tech company on a mission to making quality healthcare deliverable to everybody via your mobile phone. Now, he's going to be shedding some light on something salient today, talking about the importance of a regular medical checks is what he's going to be doing. Now, you're welcome, Dr. Dino. Thank you. Thank Good you to have you here today. Me. Fantastic. Now, I, today's topic is very, very interesting for me because, I mean, the importance of regular medical checks, this is something that not everybody actually does. We know we should do it, but we are often very either lackadaisical about it or just like, I don't want to find out all those things because it's always sometimes bad news. Sure. But um, how important is it for uh, people to actually get regular medical checks? Okay, the... The importance of regular medical checks cannot be overemphasized. It's really very important, and unfortunately, most people are doing it wrongly, mm -hmm. even those that are doing it. Because uh, we don't want to call it yearly checks like what people call it. Mm -hmm. We call it health assessment. Mm -hmm. Because if you call it regular medical checks like what everybody call it, you do it in a way that you are not testing the right thing you should be testing. Why okay. should I want to test what is not going to affect you? Mm. Why do I want to test what, even if I find out, I'm not going to be able to do anything about it? Mm -hmm. So there are some parameters you need to look about, look on when you want to do this health assessment for people. Like in some offices, they say they want to do executive checks for their, maybe their VIP mm -hmm. staff and all that. So, but what we do is that there are three factors we look at. One, what is the cost of this to the patient? Mm. Are we going to be able to alter the cost of this disease if we discover anything? Then we look at if this thing is not going to affect the quality of your life, mm. then why go for it? Yeah. So that's what we've been able to do with Dr. Connect. And when you come to us, we just don't say this thing is very important for you to do. But why is it important? And if you detect it, can we alter the cost of this thing? Okay. So two things. Let's start with cost. Now, okay. how expensive or how affordable is it uh, to go for regular checks? The average man now. How affordable is it? Okay. How affordable it is depends on what exactly are we checking. Mm -hmm. For example, someone that has a high risk of hypertension, diabetes, and probably stroke and other cardiovascular disease in his family. Mm -hmm. That kind of person, you want to look into the details of all those things rather than just, say, okay, come, do your full blood count, do mm -hmm. ECG, do all that. So the cost is relative. It depends on what are we looking for. Mm -hmm. So, but... The technology now, the cost is now so cheap because where you are supposed to be spending like maybe 100K, you're probably spending like 30,000 naira, thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Because okay. now you, and you this use is per data. year, or is this per year? Yes. Per now we use data. We look like, okay, what has data told us about you? Mm -hmm. Not what do we feel about you? Mm -hmm. And that is the good thing when you have data with your fingertips. Okay. So you look at this person that what has the data giving you and you go for it. Mm. So it's, it's really very cheap when we when we do that. Okay. Now, you're also a tech, uh, uh, well, you've, you've, you've put a bit of tech into the health thing. So it's, because it, that's it, what we do. Uh, exactly. Especially <laughs> now that everything we actually do is, you know, um, centered around our ability to in access information via our phones and all of that. But I have a, a, a question regarding lifestyle and these okay. regular checks. Okay. Some of these ailments that we find out that we get, especially in last year years, are due to habits that we had when we were younger. Um, does that make it, how... For one, for a person who has identified that I have so and so, um, how do you prepare for such an uh, an instance for that individual now after going for a check and finding out that you have something that let me call them a lifestyle disease? Okay. How do you prepare for something like that? Yes, it's simple because there's something we call genealogy in medicine. Mm -hmm. Genealogy is like a family tree. Yeah. So when we take history about of the patient, we know that okay, your dad has this, your mm -hmm. mom has this. We trace it down. We see that okay. These are the things that is peculiar to your family. Mm -hmm. Then we now start advising you that, okay, you need to modify this. Mm -hmm. Maybe you smoke, stop mm -hmm. smoking, mm -hmm. you drink. Maybe you reduce your drinking to a particular mm -hmm. quantity that is safe for you. Mm -hmm. Note the two words, smoking, you stop. We yeah. don't say reduce. Okay. That's one thing that people say, okay, I've reduced my smoking. It's not as bad no, as before again. Just stop. No, stop. Okay. You stop it. Then reduce our calling, exercise. We don't get this exercise thing. And to me, it is the most important thing apart from your diet. Mm. You need to exercise, even if it's just 30 minutes a day. So, Do you exercise 30 minutes a day as a doctor and all your heavy schedule? I do. I sure. just, most okay. times, if I don't do it in the morning, I do it in the night. I just okay. walk on my streets. 
So just walk. You yes. don't need to do anything excessive. No yes. dumbbell just, just lifting walk. and all of that. Just, just walk. Th that's fine. Okay. Well, that's fine. Now, that is very interesting. Now, regarding alcohol, how much is too much? Hmm. How much is too much? Depends I see you on breathed you there for a minute. Yes. <clears throat> like some are you a drinking man yourself? Yeah, I take, I take wine at times. <laughs> wine? Yes, okay. I take wine at times. <laughs> but you know the way we drink in Nigeria? Yeah. Someone wants to take red wine and will finish like one or two bottles. That's too much? It's too much because you have to take this thing with maybe a glass cup. You mm -hmm. have a, they say 12 to 14 ounce. You measure that, convert it to our own calculation. Mm -hmm. So it's not to be the way we consume it. Someone okay. will go and take like black label and take like one bottle, two. Mm. Someone will take like white worker and finish it at six. So these things are, are quite so bad. You don't, you don't go that way. You just take like a glass cup probably like three times a week. It's three fine. Three times a week. Because alcohol in itself has a degree of cardio protection. Okay. Especially red wine. But mm -hmm. not the way we consume it here in Nigeria. Now you're talking about red wine. That's very, you know... Pfft. Yeah, very fancy. I'm talking about beer now because that is that the is average the man's, you know, go-to after every day. I need a beer to, like, calm me down, that kind of thing. How yes. much is too much of that? Like, we say if you don't take more than two bottles, three bottles in a week, mm. that's fine. Okay. But we know most people take four sitting Some down. people do it every single day. They and end the that, day. Is, that is quite, it's very bad. So these are the lifestyle choices that actually... That increases your cholesterol level. Mm -hmm. That makes you to be very prone to hypertension. Mm -hmm. That makes you to be prone to diabetes, obesity. And all these things follow. Hypertension, obesity, stroke. And these are the things that are just killing our people. Mm. Now, you, so I've gone for one of these regular checks. Uh, if I have identified that I have something maybe wrong with me, maybe liver or kidney, I don't know and this was my lifestyle, what have I just bought myself into? How do I take, my, take care of myself from then on? How expensive does this become? What do I need to do? Well, you've already touched that part. Yes. But um, how does that change my life? Preven prevention is very cheap. So just don't, 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 don't walk into that? Don't walk into that. Because when you get to the intervention, there's something we normally say in our company, we call it the three mm. Nutrition, prevention, and intervention. The mm. three shons. So... The cheapest part of that chain is mm. prevention. Because mm. even nutrition, most of us will not get it right. Okay. That's the truth. Because when you want to give you a diet regimen, don't eat this, don't eat, don't. We, don't, we can't comply okay. to that. So um, how can we make this accessible, these uh, checks you're talking about? I know you're a tech person. You yeah. mentioned um, the accessibility on our phone. Can you touch on that real quick? Okay. For, for you to get this, it's quite simple. We have an application that you can download, Doctor Connect. Okay. When you download it, we have eight checks that you can quickly do per year and you're good. Okay. And this thing can be as cheap as 40,000, 20,000, mm. depending what exactly we see that is specific for you. So it is absolutely necessary that we always get our yearly checks and it that's is, how we can access impossible. it. It Dr. is impossible. It is very, Connect. very, very important. Dr. Connect, make sure you download it and then they can, they can always reach you. And if you have any questions, do feel free. Make sure you reach out to us and we'll have uh, Dr. Dean right here. Make sure that he gets a response to you in good time before you find out anything wrong with you. But don't worry, I'm sure you'll be fine. Thank you very much, Dr. Dean. We Thank don't have too, me. too much time, but it's always Thank a pleasure you. to have you on the show. Thank you. We'll be right back to stay tuned. It is, of course, Wake Up Nigeria.